Survivors of a rebel attack on a school in western Uganda say the teenage pupils were killed with machetes before a bomb was thrown into a dormitory. School buildings were also set ablaze. Around 40 boys and girls died and several students were abducted. Police say militants linked to the Islamic State group carried out the attack. It happened at a secondary school in Pomdwe in the west of the country and eight other people were injured and are in hospital. Dozens are feared to have been abducted. Police say the army is pursuing the fighters who had crossed the border from the Democratic Republic of Congo. ADF rebels have been operating from inside the DRC for the past two decades. Patience Atahari is in Kampala for us. The attackers were about five in number. That's according to a statement from the army. They are said to have locked the dormitories and used the boys' mattresses to set them alight and, and burn down the buildings, and the children were locked inside. We also understand some may have been abducted, including some members from the community. Some of them might be children as well. Uh, what the army are saying is that they are going to try and pursue the fighters from the air. The children are, are, men, are said to have been forced to carry the loot that was taken from the school store. And so the army are saying they will try and pursue them from the air and see if they can find the fighters and possibly rescue the hostages. The ADF is an Islamist uh, rebel group that originated in Uganda. They were initially led by Ugandans and they waged war against the Yoweri Museveni government in the 1990s. They were based in that same region in the Renzori Mountains and they were pushed uh, in the 90s into the DRC. But even then, their methods of operation were very similar to what happened Friday night. They burnt villages, attacked travelers on buses, and in 1998, they had attacked a technical school and killed about 80 students there. They burnt their dormitories down as well. But in the last couple of decades, they've only been based in Eastern DRC, except for 2021, when a series of suicide bombs in Kampala were blamed on them. The rebels now say they are linked to the Islamic State. The community is in mourning. It's in so much shock. It also brings memories for those who were alive then of what used to happen in the 90s. So the community have been here before, have been at the, at, at the hands of this kind of terrorism from the ADF. And the motive this time seems to be just the same. Destabilize communities, give uh, the security forces sort of uh, the, the, the idea to say you can't fight us, you can't break us down, it's very horrifying. The community, we've seen photos of, of parents crying, children, some of them who are injured in hospital and trying to get care. Patients Atuhari reporting there.